This is the last topic of this chapter. Uh, carcinogenicity and toxicity of basically aromatic hydrocarbons. Now, benzene and all the polynuclear or rather polynuclear hydrocarbons which contain more than two benzene rings fused together are toxic. And uh, so this means that they can, I mean, they're toxic and they have a carcinogenicity, which means that they can cause cancer. Now, the reason this is the case is that when you have the benzene or these compounds get into your bio, I mean, get into your body, it leads to disruption of various chemical processes that occur in our bodies. And this in turn is going to affect the DNA and that is going to cause cancer. And it was noticed that it was only such compounds which caused um, carcinogenicity. And the reason for this was because one of the met compounds which is formed in our body is going is hydroquinone. And this hydroquinone is leading to its uh, or is a cause of the carcinogenicity of the benzene. Now, when we talk about, I mean, Google the structure of paracetamol, it has a benzene ring, but that in that is actually a substituted benzene. And these substituents will make sure that that particular compound is not formed. And so it is safe. So that is about carcinogenicity and toxicity oh also one more thing um, uh, these polynuclear hydrocarbons are also formed by uh, the incomplete combustion of the organic materials like tobacco coal and petroleum so one must be very careful about you know using or rather of being exposed to such things so that is about carcinogenicity and toxicity. It's a very small topic. It's just for your um, basic understanding. And with that, we're done with the chapter hydrocarbons. We started with alkanes, uh, learned about the various... Oh, no, I think we started with the classification. Sorry, we started with the classification of hydrocarbons as saturated and unsaturated. And uh, we moved on to talking... And aromatic... And then we moved on to talking about alkanes. Alkanes have the general formula of CN, H2, N plus 2. And we talked about the various methods of preparation, the structure, the physical properties, the chemical properties. And we learned about the isomerism, the conformation isomerism in alkanes. Uh, in the next, we started with alkenes. Alkenes general formula is CN, H2, N. And uh, we talked about the structure of the alkene and how the double bonds are formed. What are the kind of isomers that you observe in alkenes? We talked about the various methods of preparation, the physical properties, the chemical properties. And then we moved on to alkynes. Alkynes... We learned about, again, the structure, the same thing, basically. The structure, the preparation, physical properties, chemical properties. But one very important chemical property was the cyclic polymerization, which basically converted an ethyne molecule to a benzene ring. And this then led to us learning about the aromatic hydrocarbons and how benzene structure was determined. I mean, at that point in time, they probably didn't think that such compounds could exist in the first place and uh, so the structure of benzene ring was very baffling and they try, the scientists tried to figure out how it happened I mean how the structure is and yeah so we learned about that we learned about the KKLA structure the stability the resonance of the benzene ring we also talked about the various methods of preparation and electrophilic substitution reactions of the benzene ring not only that we talked about the addition as well as the um combustion reaction in the benzene ring and uh, the last one was the directive influence of the existing functional group on the mono substituted benzene and that basically is was the fact that you know when you have a mono substituted benzene how is it going to undergo an electrophilic substitution reaction and the last one was carcinogenicity and toxicity uh, i hope you understood every topic that i covered if you haven't understood something uh, do reach out and let me know and then i'll try to help you with that uh, in the next video we'll be i mean next couple of videos we'll be talking about the nc or rather we'll be solving the various ncrt questions given at the last i mean in the end of your chapter i believe you have close to 30 questions uh in your textbook i'm not sure uh, so we'll be solving all of them and i hope you understood whatever was discussed in these videos till now